When you engage yourself in business, what do you always think of? Maybe it's gaining a profit. Am I right? But keep in mind that there is no assurance that you will always earn a profit. Sometimes, due to certain factors, you suffer losses in your business. Hence, it is important to understand the concept of profit and loss. Hello everyone, it's me again, your teacher Joan. In this video, we will talk about a lesson in business mathematics and the focus is all about profit and loss. Here are the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to differentiate profit from loss and illustrate how profit is obtained and how to avoid loss in a given transaction. Let us first have the definition of profit and loss. When we say profit, it is the amount left from the revenue or sales after all costs or expenses had been deducted. When we say profit, it is defined as the gain in business. On the other hand, when we say loss, it is what occurred when the cost and expenses exceed the revenue or sales. These two concepts are very much important in business. Hence, it is important to learn how to compute for profit or loss. So to find profit or loss, we will just simply subtract the revenue and cost. The result is a profit if it is positive and loss if it is negative. In symbols, we define profit as R of X is greater than C of X and we define loss as C of X is greater than R of X. What do we mean by this? If the revenue exceeds the cost, so the business earns profit. But when the cost of production exceeds the revenue, the business is at loss. Having a loss is part of business, but learning how to avoid it is very important. You may consider the following points in dealing with losses in your business. First, add new and innovative products and services in your company. Make use of modern technology that saves time money, and energy. Apply low-price strategies. Optimize your website in an attractive way. And treat your business a business, not as a hobby or a side job. These are some of the suggested ways that we can do to avoid losses. Aside from finding the profit or loss, we could also determine the percent of profit or loss. The percent is always taken with respect to the cost. So to find this, profit or loss divided by cost times 100%. Let us now have an example. Assume that you are in the business of buying and selling shoes. You bought 10 pairs of running shoes for 3,500 each from a wholesaler at the start of December. Then, you plan to sell these pairs of running shoes online to your friends before Christmas. You were able to sell 7 pairs at 5,000 pesos each. However, after Christmas, you have 3 pairs left unsold. You thought of selling the remaining pairs at 2,500 each to ensure you have sold all items before New Year. Now, determine whether you earn a profit or incurred a loss. Provide how much your profit or loss was. Referring to the given problem, the following data have been observed. First is the number of pairs of running shoes, and that is 10 pairs. Second is the cost per pair, which is 3,500. The selling price per pair is 5,000. The sale price is at 2,500. And the number of sold pairs is 7 pairs at 5,000 pesos each before Christmas, and 3 pairs at 2,500 after Christmas. To identify if there is a profit or loss, we need to identify first the profit before Christmas. And in order to find this, we need to identify first the revenue, which is given by the number of sold pairs before Christmas, and that is 7, times the selling price per pair, which is 5,000, and this gives us a total of 35,000. 
Aside from the revenue, we also have to identify the cost, which is equal to 7 times the cost per pair, which is 3,500. And this is equal to 24,500. Now that we have the revenue and the cost, we can now identify if there is a profit or loss. And to do this, we will just simply subtract the revenue and the cost. So we have 35,000 minus 24,500. And this gives us a value of 10,500. Since the result is a positive number, it means to say that there is a profit in selling 7 pairs of rubber shoes before Christmas. So we can now conclude that After selling 7 pairs of rubber shoes before Christmas, there is a profit of 10,500. Aside from the 7 pairs that were sold before Christmas, there are still 3 pairs remaining that were sold after Christmas. So to identify if there is a profit or loss after Christmas, we will be doing the same procedure. First, identify the revenue. So the revenue after Christmas gives us the product of the sold pairs, which is 3, and the price here, which is the sale price of 2,500. And the total here is 7,500. Aside from the revenue, we also have to take note the cost, which is equal to 3 times the cost per pair, which is 3,500. And this gives us a value of 10,500. So to identify if there is a profit or loss, we will be subtracting the revenue and cost. And this gives us 7,500 minus 10,500. In doing this, the result is negative 3,000. Since the value is negative, it means to say that there is a loss of money. So we can now conclude that After selling 3 pairs of rubber shoes at a lower price than the cost, there is a loss of 3,000 pesos after Christmas. After selling all the rubber shoes before and after Christmas, let us now identify how much is the total profit. And to do this, going back to our data before Christmas, the profit is equal to Ten thousand five hundred, and after Christmas there is a loss so after Christmas there is a loss of three thousand pesos so to identify the total profit we need to subtract the three thousand from the profit which is ten thousand five hundred and this gives us a value of 7,500. So we can now conclude that the total profit in selling 10 pairs of rubber shoes is 7,500 pesos. Next question is, how much is the profit percent? Since we already know the total profit in selling 10 pairs of running shoes, which is 7,500, we can now find the profit percent. And to find the profit percent, it is equal to the ratio of the profit and the cost times 100%. So based in our data, the profit gained is 7,500 and the cost of the 10 rubber shoes is 35,000. Getting the ratio of this, it is resulted to 0 0.2143 or in percent, it is 21.43%. So we can now conclude that the profit percent is equal to 21.43%. So this is the amount gained in selling the 10 pairs of running shoes based on the cost of the 10 pairs. If you are looking for the selling price, the formula to be used are the following. If there is a profit, the formula is 
selling price is equal to cost price times 1 plus the percent profit. And if there is a loss, the formula to be used is selling price is equal to cost price times 1 minus the percent loss. After providing you an example in dealing with profit or loss, please do try the following items. You may pause the video to answer this. Are you done? The answer here is the selling price is 864000 Let's do another one. You may pause the video to answer this. Let's check your work. Here, the percent profit is 39.77%. Do you still want to try another problem? Answer this. Let us now check. The answer here is the percent loss of the cell phone is 22%. Were you able to get all of the answers correctly? If yes, great job. Here are the key takeaways in today's lesson. When we say profit, it is defined as a gain in business. It is the amount left from the revenue after all costs had been deducted. Loss is occurred when the costs and expenses exceed the revenue or sales. And to find the profit or loss, we'll just simply subtract revenue and the cost. To find the profit percent or loss percent, it is profit or loss divided by the cost times 100%. And if you're looking for the selling price, if there is a profit, use selling price is equal to cost price times 1 plus percent profit. And if there is a loss, use selling price is equal to cost price times 1 minus percent loss. Were you able to understand profit and loss? Hopefully, yes. Always remember that in getting the profit or loss is a common activity in business. Hence, if you are going to engage yourself in business, you should know the difference of the two and how to solve each one. And always take note to be ready with the outcome of your business. Here is the end of another video. I hope you have learned a lot. Thanks again for watching. Please continue to support my YouTube channel by watching all of my videos. Click like, post some comments, and share it with your friends. Thank you and see you on my next video.